Hello everybody, I'm Zach Minard and welcome back to What You Heard. It is Friday, October 19th, and you know what that means. That means it's time for my weekly What You Heard. So what'd you hear this week, Zach? Well, I thought I would narrow it down to one album at a time for these weekly roundups. It's a lot easier for me to get across a point. It's a lot easier for me to, to focus on one album. It's a lot easier for you guys to only listen to one album. Let's be frank. <laughs> but I think this is going to work out for both of us. So uh, for this f- for this episode today, I would like to focus on a really good album that came out last year. I kind of slept on it a little bit, but uh, I heard it earlier this year, and I, I just can't stop listening to it. It's so amazing. Uh, I'm talking about Open Mike Eagles, Brick Body Kids Still Daydream. Now, there's often a stigma in rap music that it's only for black culture. You can only like or enjoy or even participate in rap if you are black. And if you are not black, your opinion in rap is worthless. Now, this stigma is quickly fading away with the popularity of rap in modern time being such a cultural zeitgeist. But there are still moments in rap, and all music in general really, where music is made for and can only be appreciated for a small group of people. Now, that isn't to say that it can't be appreciated by a large audience, far from it. Looking at music that isn't made for you can help broaden your worldview and remind you of what others are doing around you. But albums like Brick Body Kids Still J Dream, they are not meant for people like me. But at the same time, they mean so much to me. My eyes glow in my hood like a demon from hell. My old self locked away, no key to the cell. They shooting spells in my head, it's up to me to repel. Yeah. Open Mike Eagle is a Chicago rapper, and in Brick Body Kids, there's nothing more important than that. This album focuses on the life Mike lived in Chicago, his home life, the hood culture that was around him, the gentrification of his grandmother's apartment complex. All these things add up to a very personal experience, and it's like Open Mike is taking you along with him to see what he saw, to understand the things that he's been going through. And if you can relate to that, that's all the better. Uh, I, I remember the line, if you can remember the moment, come here and shake my hand. And I think that that follows the process of this album. We're all listening along. But if you can relate to what Open Mike is saying, that makes it all the more powerful. There are things in this album that I can and can't relate to, of course, but I still feel the love and the hardship and the personality that this project shows in every square inch. It's not afraid to take you to a place you might not understand or somewhere very personal to Open Mike himself, but even if it's not for you, you never feel like an outsider. Open mic is lo-fi to the core. The beats here are often simple, often focusing on physical instruments or even hard synths with vibrating bass, but that's not to say they aren't well made because these are some of the best fucking instrumentals you can find. Every song, they perfectly fit the tone from the hopeful, loving, beautiful trumpets on Daydreaming and the Projects to the knocking drums and bass of No Selling, right back to the somber and nostalgic bells of 95 Radios. These instrumentals help paint a picture of tone and emotion for this album. Gotta keep it beside, I gotta play it cool. Like when you with a girl and she can wake at school. Gonna get the leather shirt, my stomach never hurt. Strong face, strong jaw shown to my competitors. That's not to say that the lyrics in this thing can't do it themselves because the lyrical content on this album is absolutely stellar. The lines in this album can be poetry on their own. They, they can carry themselves. They pack so much raw emotion that you can't help but feel what open mic is feeling. 
the whirling synths and sturdy beats of Phil at home partner so well with the steady cadence as he talks about his life in Chicago and reminiscing over the hardships he had felt, asking how anyone could ever feel at home in the bitter cold, which is both talking about the weather and the society itself. Uh, the post-apocalyptic world that he paints in Happy Wasteland Day isn't that far from our own, and it's it's honestly amazing how well he wrote this. The second verse is where he really gets with it. You can simultaneously feel the groove of it, but also the anxiousness that he feels. The third verse, however, has him speaking quietly, almost spoken word, as the music fades out with his vocals, alluding to an unsolved problem that we all live in that seemingly has no solution. And the metaphor that he has in Brick Body Complex, where he says that him himself is his aunt's building, saying that he is actually his environment, a product of his environment, and like the building, he will stand tall and strong for his community and his way of life and will protect it. I think, damn, that's that's really great, isn't it? That's a really great line. Home, cause the story it goes, there's a spork in the road, and we got to the bar, but then no doyles was closed, and it never was closed, even whenever it snowed, every night it was there, either there were a show, every answer is there, every question is no, never questioned before, so we guessing it's home. So we guessing it's home, so we guessing it's home, so we guessing it's home. I was protesting, I lost my sign, standing up cause they crossed my line, got the folks and they caught my vibe, if it wasn't for y'all it would have lost my mind, long season I need this night, fuel's low so we reignite, power's out so we read by light, no cops allowed, they can't read my rights, power's out, no electro now, synthesizers all retro sound, first directors protect your town, tell the garbage king with no respect your Nothing hits me harder though than 95 radios. It is truly the most earnest rap song ever written. It's like listening to a warm blanket in the cold rain. The way that he recalls the feelings of his environment is amazing. It's like it's like a snapshot and I can feel the love and slight bitter tone even if it's so deeply personal to open mic. I can still be there with him and understand what what he's going through as he reminisces. Say they heard a rap song Sounded like some folks they know But we couldn't find a radio Hard to express when the world is listless Hard when you're sure that the world is not In between PM, dawn, and sunrise Wearing a suit like my school mascot The Edison Owl, not a head in the crowd Could match my technique and impeccable style Says a young Hassan In the mirror while tip saying rock, rock and I think that's the main thing about this album, is the only person Mike made this album for is himself. Because no one can understand what he lived in quite like him. It's the constant struggle to be heard and understood that all of us go through, put into an album, a collection of songs that give an impression of life at a moment that we can all understand and somehow relate to, but no one can ever purely get. And there's, there's almost something beautiful about that, really. I strongly recommend listening to Brick Body Kids Still Daydream. If you if you aren't listening to it, you're really doing a disservice to yourself. If you really want some great lo-fi hip-hop, some great lyricism, something really nice and chill. If you're tired of the really harsh rap and you don't want to give rap a chance because it's too gangster, it's too hood, give give this a fucking chance because this is, this is wonderful. This deserves more than it ever got. Anyways, that's going to do it for this episode of What You Heard. I'm Zach Minyard, and be sure to tune in on Tuesday where we have our other show and next Friday where I recommend another album to you guys. And I will see you all on the next one.